I'm actually not a cowboy. Never been a cowboy a day in my life. Oh, she's an old little witch. I wouldn't be scared of witches in Minecraft if they looked like lovely old grandmas. Oh, of course, little tiny grandma. I would love to help you with something. Uh, she said this world needs to be cuter, and I have just one tool for that. But one witch alone can't solve the mess. Well, of course, I guess. Can I become a witch? What the? What did you just do to me? Did you fart? Is that what it looks like when grandma's fart? Oh my gosh, she gave me a cutify wand. Uh, I can interact with a mob to make it cute. Sweet. Can I use it on... Me? I'm smacking myself in the face, but this thing does not work on ugly zombies like myself. Oh my gosh, this old witch talks really, really, really fast. So she says that I can use this wand in order to get myself cutifying uh, cute mob pets. I can cutify them. Okay, there's a lot of information that you're throwing at me for an old grandma. I'm just going to start hitting things with this, and I really hope that it works. Oh, there is an entire book over here <laughs> that gives me all the information that I need. Why did you not tell me this before, grandma? Important notes. Buy milk, sleep till morning, find a cute bat. New idea, cute cookie. I love cute cookies. Okay, grandma, I'm gonna go ahead up here and see if you have any cute cookies for me. Oh, you have another wand. We have notes and we have sugar cookies. Okay, so it looks like I can feed these to mobs in order to make them love me. Oh, we have weapons in here too. Why did I pick the pink one? Let's do pink, blue, yellow, blue. I don't know why I'll need a sword, but it seems like grandma wants me to take one. And also a pickaxe too. Ooh, we also have forgetful potions. It'll erase a cute pet's memory. I don't know why I would want to do that. It seems kind of rude. And we have cookies. Yeah. I love me some cookies. Okay, thank you, grandma. I'll be on my way now. I love you. Whoa, what is that? Oh, I need to go check that out. But first things first, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys do see any mobs in today's video, be sure to leave a like. I see a lot of mobs. You guys have to leave a like. You promised. Boop, boop, bop, boop, beep, bop, boop, boop. Hello, horsey. I'm going to hit you. <gasps> That's not what I was supposed to do. Okay, what if I right click? Oh, it turned into a baby horse. We have more. Wait, wait. No, I do not want to ride you, horsey. I want to turn you into cutify. I want to cutify you. Come here, let me cutify you. What well, if I hit you? Then you won't like me, and then I can cutify? Cutify, cutify. Yes, I got you. Okay, now I just need to feed you cookie. And you love me. This is the best day ever. <gasps> we have chicken. I want a little chicken nugget as my pet. Love me chicken. I'll hit you. I'll, no, 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 no. Turn to my pet. Oh, I don't know if I can turn chickens into pets. Ew. Yo, you're a savage. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I now officially know what I'm doing today. I am collecting every single cute little savage mob that I can as my pet. I see a slime over here. A wild slime in the swamp. Come here, slippery slime. Oh, we got bigger. And he got happier too. Okay, now I have to not forget to right click with the sugar cookie so that they love me forever. You can never leave me, okay, little slimy? Now, I'm not entirely sure how many cute mobs I can get as my pet. So if you guys do want to see a part two where I can continually get every single cute little baby pet, be sure to smash like and subscribe so you guys do not miss out on that. We got a pet! Come here, little oinky. I want to turn you. I want to turn you into little cute pig. Do you like being cute? Okay, sorry. I think I turned your little baby into cute tiny pig. Okay, no, he's friendly, little slimy piggy. I love you forever. These are the cutest mobs ever. I have to figure out a way to bring these back to my world to show Bessie. Now, also, if for any reason I don't want to have a mob as my my cutie little pet, I can give them a potion. But why would I ever do that? Okay, now that we have a small, cute army behind me, we can probably go check out what this is. <gasps> panda bear. I want cute panda bear. Oh my gosh, you are adorable. Please love me forever. I'm running out of sugar cookies. Yo, grandma, make sugar cookies. She's kind of old, so I don't know if she can hear me. Okay, we have a panda. We have a slimy. We have a horse that kind of looks like Bambi. And then we have a slimy slime. We must continue expanding the Beckbro cute army of amazingness. Oh, there's a cave down here. <gasps> no, 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 no. Cutify, cutify. It works on creepers. Okay, need to feed you sugar cookie, bro. No, no. Oh, bad idea. Bad idea. Oh, oh, it's not good. I think creeper pet, you're going to explode everybody. Okay, I have to get out of this dark area before creeper pet explodes absolutely everything. Now I'm really curious, like what could be at the top of this? And I just realized there is a beautiful full smiling son. Wait, is his face upside down? Is it a cat? Is it an upside down cat face? Well, hello there, cow. Let's see what a cutiful cow looks like. 
they just keep getting better and better. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, you be my friend. Please be my friend. Thank you for being my friend. I'm really curious as to why I'm not able to get chicken into cute form. Never mind. I did it. It turned into a baby little chicklet. Yes. Yes. I love each and every one of them like they're my child. Oh, children. That is a ravine. Do not fall down there. He's almost... Okay, he almost just actually just jumped down willingly. Okay. I officially have, I think, like close to 10 cute little pets. Now, I'm guessing there has to be something good up at the top of this cute mountain. The only issue is I don't really have that many blocks to get up there. So we're going to have to scale this mountain the old-fashioned way. Little chicklet, can you fly? I might be a little bit too fat, but can we try? I think he just jumped down. He had literally no parts of him wanting to do that. Oh, it's turning nighttime. Okay, I want to get to the top before it gets too dark. Oh my gosh, we're so high up that everything is turning to snow. Hey, hey, I just heard somebody break a leg. Do not jump down, please. I don't know how I could live with myself if one of these things accidentally dies. Oh, okay, yeah, see, look. Perfect example, that was a lesson. Do not do that. I just, I did it again. What am I doing? Focus, Jack, focus. Do it for the cute little pets. I love how they're all just willingly following me all the way up here. And I just realized, too, that mobs are going to start spawning on the cliffs of this mountain. Oh, no, no, stop taking damage. Why did I do this, ladies and gentlemen? I could have just went about my existence with my cute little army. But there has to be some sort of cute pet up top that you can only get by traveling there. If anybody gets hungry, I have some bread. I also have cookies too. Do you like cookies? I think they only like to eat the sugar cookies. Oh, that was a close one. Okay, we're getting pretty high up. Oh, okay. I thought this was an Enderman for a second. Oh, I see a zombie up there. Wait a second. I thought for sure there would have been like a castle up here. No, are there just like random floating blocks? This place is weird. Oh, wait a second. I see something. Now it looks like a nether fortress. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's finally turning daytime. The cat sun is coming up slow and steadily. Now, even if there is nothing useful up here, which I think there might be some things, we can at least look out on the entire land to see if there's any other areas where I can find sugar cookies, because I need more. Oh, wait, there's a village over there. They probably have something. I have to be really, really, really close. Let's see. I think this might be the top. I did it, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, never mind. That's the top over there. But it looks like we have the village down there. We have a desert village and maybe a desert castle over there. Some sort of cotton candy land. And then way down there, I think that's where we actually started. Okay, so if I can make it to one of these platforms, it seems like I should be able to just build and make bridges so that I can get to that nether fortress or the end fortress. Okay, slow and steady, animal. Here we go. Yes, I made it. I'm so good at jumping. Okay, now we go to this one over here. We can go over here. I really hope nobody falls. Oh, wait a second. I also just realized if I right click with my wand, it seems like I can read their minds. So most of my pets don't really know anything about me yet, but over time, they might learn that I love cookies and hopefully they'll just start baking them for me. Now, I should also be able to shift and right click in order to pet them, which will make them like me more. I won't pet you. I won't pet you, creepy, even though technically I'm not supposed to touch a creeper. We'll touch the piggy. We'll do a little hug with the chicken. I do not want you to sit slimy. We'll give you a big old fat kiss. Mwah. Wait, did I just hear a ghast? Is there things inside of these obsidian pillars? I definitely hear something. Okay, we can jump over to this one. I have to be really careful not to fall. Okay, over here. Up here. Oh, I thought I fell. Okay, now I should be able to jump to this one. Yes, we're doing it. My parkour skills are not that good, but somehow I'm making it. Okay, we'll just do a little jumpy jump. Big old jump. I didn't even need to jump there. Wait. Um, hey, hey guys, why are you guys so sad? Let's read your mind. Okay, it didn't say anything, but supposedly they're sad. Do you want another hug? I can only hug them once a day, I think. So that could mean that they're hungry, which means I need way more cookies than I currently have. Or they're all just taking them. No! Okay. No, stop, stop falling. Okay, that means that they're close to dying, maybe. Um, I have one cookie left. I gotta get it to Slimy Slime. He doesn't even want to eat it. Okay, guys, please don't die. Slimy Slime, I'm gonna need you to just take a step to the side please. We are so close, ladies and gentlemen. Up here, there has to be something that I can feed them. Hello? Anybody home? Anybody want to be turned into my cutiful little pet? I don't think cutiful is a word, but I will do it. Oh, it's Joker. Give me you. Give me you. I'll be your friend. Oh, <gasps> yes. You're now my friend. Okay, we're just gonna tame you as, as soon as you put me down. Please put me down. Pretty please. Cherries on tap with mustard. Okay, cool. Thanks. We're gonna pet you. Yes. They love me. <gasps> we have a chest. Okay, we have one more sugar cookie. 
Seriously, that was it? There has to be more up top. Oh, <gasps> wait, hold up. Uh, wait, real fast. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cutify you, but I'm not gonna do anything because uh, I just want you to stop shooting me, please. Okay, can we attack this thing, please? Take it down. Yes, yes, they're doing it. No, I have no idea how much damage they do. Oh, wait, they're actually attacking my pets. Okay, I think they actually got it. Now it seems like I can go into the end dimension. I'm honestly not entirely sure, ladies and gentlemen, but I might be able to tame the Ender Dragon and make it a little baby cute pet. If that is the case. <laughs> Scientist, do you give me the cute dinosaurs? Because if you do, you are the cutest person I've ever seen in my entire life. Do I? Oh, I punched him. <laughs> I punched him. Sorry about that. He said, welcome to my old rusty laboratory. I know, I kind of downgraded if you compare my previous laboratories. However, she said something about his laboratory. I've discovered some of the cutest dinosaurs. <gasps> Overcorners, crew! Chill, Jack. Chill. Don't scare the dinosaur. Dude. No. Okay, I, this guy is, he's saying a lot of things. Dr. Lacey, I get it, bro. You're, you're trying to teach me about these dinosaurs, but I am just, I, I can't, I can't, okay? I'm not focused. I am mesmerized by this baby cute dinosaur. As you guys probably know, ladies and gentlemen, I have tamed so many dinosaurs, but never baby cute dinosaurs like this. My body just, I don't know what to do. And there's more. Okay, so right now, we have costumes. We have costumes for them. Um, okay, do I give you the treat to tame you? You're my you're my best friend now. You're literally my bestest friend in the entire world. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys do want to see more episodes on this series, I need you guys to smash the like. Very gently though, like like it's it's a really cute like button and you want to take it out on a date. So just like lightly tap it with your fist. Okay, so there's also things to uh, dress them up. I want you to have a cupcake hat. Dude, that is just cuteness overload. I can't take it. I literally can't take it. <laughs> oh my gosh, we have, we have other things too. We have a magician hat, a ribbon. We can also remove the costume if we don't like it on a certain dinosaur. And I also have four more vanilla dino treats that I can give to anybody. No, oh my gosh, what insane thing goes on inside. <laughs> Bro, ladies and gentlemen, I know it might seem like, like I'm overreacting here, but this is so cool. I have only ever tamed ginormous dinosaurs and they fight each other. But honestly, now, like, it seems like everything's really, really cute and cuddly. And there's so many. I believe there's over 20 in this map that I can go around and tame. Let's go down here and see if I can find any more. Dinosaurs in here. No dinosaurs in there. Dinosaurs in... Nope, nope, no dinosaurs there. Oh, we have dino milk. <gasps> we can make chocolate dino milk? That sounds delicious. What does this do? Chocolate dino treat. I don't know if the dinosaurs are different dinosaurs, like different types of treats. I guess we're gonna have to figure it out. But we can always come back here if we forget some things. Also, where did my little baby go? Since he's an ankylosaurus, I'm gonna call him little ankle biter. I just can't really seem to locate him. Hello, ankle biter. Ankle biter, what? Oh, you want love? Do I, wait, can I, can I pet you? Do I, why did I do that? Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, um, you want love. Sir, sir, scientist, sir, how do I give my, my little baby dinosaur ankle biter love? So I need to feed them some treats or dino milk alongside, and when the heart bubble pops up, that means your dinosaur needs affection. So, okay, you need affection. Does that mean food? Okay, so food equals love. That is exactly how I operate. If you feed me cookies, I will love you forever. So this dinosaur and me, we're gonna get along very well. The only thing is, okay, good. It does teleport, but if it gets too hungry or does not feel like I love it enough, it will indeed just sit there and wait until somebody feeds it dino cookies, which I honestly respect. That's that's what I do. If nobody feeds me, <laughs> well, not dino cookies, but like normal cookies, I'm just gonna sit there until they do. Whoa, what is this place? Congratulations, feel free to interact with the traders. <gasps> we have eggs? Wait, I can hatch different dinosaurs. <gasps> Bro, I can buy more. What's the most expensive? We have a Velociraptor, a Triceratops, a T-Rex, a cute T-Rex. No way. I gotta get it. I, I gotta get it. I'm literally about to spend almost all of my emeralds, but I'm doing it. Thank you, good sir. <laughs> Let's see if this works. T-Rex. <gasps> Wait, what do I do now? Nobody taught me anything about dinosaur eggs and how to hatch them. There has to be some sort of accessory, right? Oh no, these are just a different hat, so I can buy more cupcake hats if I want. I could buy treats too, so I don't have to craft them if I don't have enough emeralds. Let's get some chocolate treats. Oh, <gasps> it hatched, bro! Okay, wait a second, somebody, he just gave me a Carno Taurus egg. Dr. Lacey is still talking to me somehow. Hold up, hold up, okay. Uh, I just, I was at the town square, so I met all, all these traders already. We're gonna, we're gonna try to tame you. Yes! Yo! Wait, I can get another one too. 
Wait, dude, guys, 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 please don't eat each other. You guys are so cute and cuddly. If you guys start fighting, I'm look. No, bad. You sit. You do not fight each other. What is happening? Nobody explained to me that a baby T Rex is gonna try to eat all my dinosaurs. I mean, I probably should have seen that coming because a T Rex likes to eat dinosaurs when it gets bigger. So it makes sense that it eats other dinosaurs when it's a baby. This is indeed a problem, though. How do I make you stop? Get back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Stop, stop. You're gonna die. I will kill you. We have a problem child that's extremely cute on our hands. I have no idea how to deal with this. Nobody taught me how. We also have a Carnotaurus. I really hope that this is not a flesh eating dinosaur because if it is, it's gonna start eating uh, everything. Whoa, this one's so cute, too. Okay, this is amazing. This one seems friendly so far. It's just the T-Rex that's a problem. Okay, we're gonna leave this guy here for now. I just really hope I don't accidentally forget about him. Somebody also got 18 chocolate dino treats. Um, I'm not complaining. I have no idea how this happened, but you know, it works. No, I'm actually a little bit curious. Will they fight for me? So if I were to say punch a pig, I have punched a pig. Oh, he's moving in. Look at this. Look at this. Yes. It killed the pig. There you go, little buddy. I will feed you. Yes. Now, I'm not entirely sure if they can get bigger. It seems like right now they're cute little babies, and I really hope that they stay like that. But honestly, they could grow to be full size. It is my job to protect them. I also want to explore the cute dino village to see if there's any other eggs that I can find. As always, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, I need you guys' name suggestions. If you guys do want to see a part two, smash the like and leave some names for all the dinosaurs that I tamed today, other than my Ankylosaurus, because I already named him Ankle Biter. And speaking of Ankle Biter, where's Ankle Biter? Oh, Ankle Biter? Wait, seriously, does, is he just not following me? Did he get mad? Is he going to fight the T-Rex? What is in the water? Is that a spider? Okay, yeah, that's a spider. That was really confusing. Oh, ankle biter. What are you doing over here? Bro, why, why is he not following? Do you want vanilla dino treats? Wait, are you getting bigger? This is really difficult to tell if you're getting bigger. Hold on. I actually think that they can get bigger. Hold on, wait. Let's feed this little guy too. Come here, buddy. Okay, so we're gonna feed you and we're gonna just see. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay. Something worked. I can't tell if they're getting bigger, honestly. I need to figure out why Ankle Biter's not following me too. Okay, if I hold out the treat, will you follow me? I think it's working. Let's go. Is this my house? Can I live here? Oh, there's cobwebs. Well, let's start punching some wood. I have absolutely zero materials, and the people of the cute dino town aren't really helping me much. So here we go. We have some planks. Um, Food is up there. We have lots of hay bales. I don't know if that's exactly where I want to get my hay bales from. Seems like <laughs> the rest of the village has some. Sorry, Marsha. Just gotta steal a couple of these. Just a few. If you try to fight me, I will get my T-Rex to eat your face. Boom, there we go. Get ourselves a little crafting table. Patricia, I'm putting this next to you. And just like that, we have food. Oh, somebody's hungry. Our Carno Taurus is hungry for dino treats. Don't worry, though, buddy. I got you. Yes, it worked. Bro, I cannot get over how cute these dinosaurs are. I really wish I could let the T-Rex up. Look at his little body. But his teeth, bro, his teeth are menacing. I gotta be careful. Oh, sweet. We have a bed. Okay, this will be my house. The house of cute dinos. Oh, sweet. We have a wandering trader. Well, hello, sir. I do indeed have some emeralds, but you have nothing good to buy, therefore you die. Get him. Get him, buddy. Where is Ankle Biter? Ankle Biter refuses to follow me. You're my new favorite dinosaur, little Carnotaurus. Nice. Now kill the llamas. Llama Jama, you're about to be dead, Llama Jama. That's right. Get in your pajamas, Mr. Llama. Boom. Ba bada bam. And you're dead. <laughs> Wait a second. I have a lead now. Maybe. Actually, Ankle Biter, you can stay here. Even though you got a little cool cupcake on your head, you're not following me, so you're in timeout. I have decided to give our Carnotaurus a black tie because he looks very, very fancy now. Oh, you're hungry. Yeah, now you're gonna be good. Wait, chill. Chill, buddy. It is officially time for me to venture off to see if there are any wild dinosaurs for me to tame. Whoa, nope. That's not a dinosaur. Here you go, buddy. Have yourself a treat. We're gonna move this way. <gasps> we have a wolf. Oh, I don't have any bones, though. Oh, that would be so cool if I could get a dino army and then a wolf army, too. One day, Jack. One day, you will have it all. I'm really starting to think that I cannot find the dinosaurs out in the wilderness, but I'm gonna keep looking just to make sure. There also could be adult versions of these dinosaurs somewhere out here, so I really need to be kind of a little bit more careful. Sweet, we got melons! This is easily the worst and the best food source in all of Minecraft. It barely gives you any saturation, but melons, they, they taste so good. Whoa, oh, snap, this is something. We have what appears to be a dino temple. Oh my gosh, okay. 
There's some things here. We're gonna have to fight. Little dinosaur with your cute little necktie. You're gonna have to kill the zombie. Yeah, I don't really have any weapons. I probably should make a weapon, but it seems like our dinosaur, even though cute, is also deadly. Wait, so, yeah, you gotta, you gotta keep being deadly, okay? I know you wanna be cute, but you also gotta kill. Yes, it's working. Down we go into the depths of the Tawan. We will find great treasures down here. Or death. D you know, I don't really know which one we're gonna find, but oh, what did I do? That... That didn't sound too good, did it? We're gonna we're gonna break that. We're gonna we're gonna break that. And oh, hey, how you doing? My name's Jack. This is my little dinosaur. I really want to name him Hem Henry, but I don't know if I should name him Henry. Okay, uh, little dinosaur, we're not gonna name you yet. We will let the people you guys name uh, our little dinosaur. But if you guys like Henry, you know that could be a name suggestion. It's starting to get really dark in here, and it appears to be a maze, which is kind of concerning. But I feel like we are going to find a dinosaur down here, or maybe not. I actually I cannot see a dang thing, so we're gonna get lost. And I don't even have any tools. I I can't even mine my way out if I wanted to. Uh, is there is it? That's not anything, is it? Little dinosaur buddy. Wait, wait, where is he? Where, where did little tiny baby go? I'm getting really lost in here. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Oh, there he is. Okay, okay. You gotta stay with me, little buddy. Everywhere I go has been a dead end so far. Okay, wait. Did we find... No, no, no. We, we, we found absolutely nothing. Is this the staircase? Is this... <gasps> what is... Okay, no, wait. This is where I came down. Wait, I'm definitely missing something. Maybe when I hit the tripwire, it activated some sort of secret system where it shut off a certain area and I can't get to it anymore. I'm pretty sure I just went through this entire thing and there was nothing. Maybe next time I could bring some torches and then maybe I can see what's down there. <laughs> Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Mob Pet. It has been an extremely long time since I've made a video on this map. So for those of you guys that have never seen it before, I'll give you guys a quick little introduction. And for those of you guys that do want to see the first episode, I'll leave a link down below in the description. But as you guys can see, jumping around this ender portal, we have lots of really tiny cute versions of pets. Using the Cutify wand, I'm able to turn any normal Minecraft mob into a super cute pet. Then all I have to do is just feed them sugar cookies and they love me forever. Look at them. <laughs> the best part is that they listen to my commands, they'll fight for me, and they can also get upgraded to be stupidly overpowered. So in today's video, I will be traveling to the end and gaining an army of super duper cutie peoples. We're gonna see if we're able to actually cutify the ender dragon. Whoa, wait, <laughs> I forgot in the last episode, all of my cutified creatures uh, decided to jump in to the end dimension. We have a cute polar bear, cute shulkers, cute cows, cute creepers, cute chickens, and soon we are going to have a cute ender dragon. Don't worry, my beautiful cute army, we are almost to the top. If I lose any one of my cute pets during this battle of trying to turn the ender dragon into a cute little ender dragon, I am going to be so angry. They're just, they're the cutest things ever. Look at them, imagine losing this little thing. We've officially made it to the top. I have no idea, what did I do? It looks like I like broke a TV and this is like what you see. Well, we're not gonna focus on that. We are going to pop out my cutify one and try to turn this enderman into a cutamin. <laughs> okay, wait, I forgot, I gotta, I gotta feed him. Feed him, feed him, feed him. Yes, there we go. Now I want all of my cute little creatures to attack this enderman, please. <laughs> yes, this is working. No, no, no. Creeper pet, do not explode me. Oh gosh, okay, all right. What, my, my polar bear got exploded. I died. He's sad. That was the worst possible thing I could have done. Luckily, all of my cute little tiny baby pets, <laughs> they teleport with me. Oh, look at me so sad. Okay, we're gonna feed you, little guy. It's gonna be okay. There you go, little buddy. See, look, he's all happy. Oh, great. We spawned back at the old <laughs> witch. Dude, this witch looks so cute, too. She's like a little grandma. Mr. Enderman, Mr. Baby Enderman, stop jumping in the water. He just wants to play with his friends, but he can't. I gotta get away from the water before he accidentally dies. Let's try this again on a cow. It's a little baby cute cow. I will never get tired of this cutify wand. It is amazing. But now, ladies and gentlemen, since I died, we have to make our way all the way back up there to the end portal. Well, that wasn't so difficult, and I also figured out I accidentally had a slime pet that was just waiting for me up here. He looks so happy, even though I abandoned him for like six months. Oh, what happened, little chicken? It's gonna be okay. Do you want a little sugar cookie to make you feel better? Yes, you do. Who's a cute little chicken? Back to business. I have to be manly here, and I can't dote on these little tiny cute creatures. I need to turn the ender dragon into a cute dragon. Let's do this. 
I have my cutify wand at the ready. Why, well, hello, do you want to be another cute little enderman? There you go, little buddy. That's right, join the little Beckbro cute army. You guys can also join the Beckbro army of cuteness by hitting that red subscribe button. If you do it, you'll be super cute, just like me. <laughs> Or super ugly, just like me. Come on down, buddy. It's gonna be okay. Or, er, uh, woman, you're, uh, fe uh, I forget. Is the Ender, yeah, the Ender Dragon's a she. Come on down, Mrs. Ender Dragon. You're gonna turn into a cute little dragon. Hey, 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 what was that about? That was not very respectable. But don't worry, we're gonna make you super cute, and nobody's gonna remember that. We might actually need to get rid of all of the end crystals in order. It's cute. Why? I'm going to cutify you. That's right. Get cutified. Oh, what happened to my little baby Enderman? I think he got sad again. It's okay, little dude. It's going to wait. Hey, okay. You, you don't have to necessarily sit. You can stand. And look, you have a, yourself a little brother now. Now we have to take care of the big mean Ender Dragon that keeps, uh, he keeps shooting fireballs at me and he's making all of my little tiny baby cute Enderman super angry. Really? Stop. Great. Now they're both sad again. I think I destroyed all of them. Look, the Ender Dragon and came it down. Oh, no. Why did the Enderman fight me? Hey, guys. I, well, um, yeah, I maybe died again. Don't worry, though. I will cutify the Ender Dragon. Stop looking at me like that, Grandma. It landed. Come on, cutify. I did it. Yes. Wait, wait, there's, wait. How did I just do that? I turned the Ender Dragon super cute. Wait, can I get another one? Hold on, let's try it again. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. I got another one. I got two. You can get infinite cute baby little dragons. Oh, no. Okay, okay. They're kind of dying. Okay, we're going to try to bring them back. Wait, are they fighting it? Wait, 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 wait. Wait a second. I think they're trying to fight the big Ender Dragon. I think in order to get them out of here, though, we are going to have to defeat the Ender Dragon. It'll be worth it, though, ladies and gentlemen. Look at it. Look how tiny it is. The Ender Dragon keeps bullying the baby cute Enderman. Hey, where is my little baby Enderman? Oh, there he is. What's up, little buddy? Oh, yeah, wait. wait I forgot. I need to tame them. Okay, we're going to feed that to you, and then I need to somehow get it to come down to me. Or I guess I'm going to have to go up to it. Oh, my gosh. I'm so close. We just need to go up just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Am I, am I tall enough? Come on. And I'm literally right underneath of it. No way. Okay, that has to be enough. Come on. That's right. I know you smell it. There you go. Take a little sugar cookie. And it worked. We officially have cutified the Ender Dragon. Okay. I did not see that coming. We did it. The Ender Dragon is dead. And we have two little baby ones. I wonder what happens if I use the cutify wand on the egg. I don't think anything happens just because it's an egg and it's not an actual mob. But now I need to figure out a way to lure these guys into the... Why? I'm gonna cutify them. I'm gonna... Look at... Look at... Cu get, get cutified, nerd. Come on. Come on. That's right. I know you want the sugar cookies. Okay, we're gonna try to make this guy sit. This guy sat way too high up in the sky. Come on down, little buddy. It's gonna be okay. Now what I'm thinking, I'm just gonna push him through the portal. Did it work? Did it work? Come on. Go, go through, through the portal. Through the portal. Go down. I know you can do it. I know you want to do it. I have no idea what else to do. <laughs> They're hovering directly over top of it. So I don't know if maybe I have to keep these. In oh, we went through. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to leave you. Uh, maybe you can follow us through. Bye. Oh. It worked. It worked. It worked. It worked. Come on. Come on. Come on. Send me through. It did. Yes. We got the cute dragon. Would you stop jumping in the water, please? Do you not understand? You are allergic. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have expanded our cute army. Army, I need to see what they can do in combat. We have a creeper up there. I'm gonna see what happens if I just shoot him right between the eye sockets. Do you guys even care? All right, what about this little skeleton down here? Let's try to attack the skeleton and see what happens. Oh my gosh, look at them swarm. The creeper explodes every cute pet that I have. Oh my gosh, and the ender dragon pet actually shoots out ender dragon charges. No, 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 no. That's not good. That's not good. All my pets are basically already dead, so I guess it didn't matter. All right, don't worry, guys. It's gonna be okay. No reason to cry. It's gonna... Oh, I feel so bad now. They're all crying. <laughs> What's up, little dude? Oh, boo -ha -ha. Oh, boo -wah -wah. Hello, you over there. Nice to meet you, traveler. I am Oh, boo -wah -wah. Say it with me. Oh, boo -wah -wah. Now, everybody say it. Oh, boo -wah -wah. If you didn't say it, you have to leave a like. Listen to me as I will tour you around the islands of... What is this name? Uh, 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 the island again? The islands of Kubo. Long time ago, the orcs brought in some funky creatures. I'm not entirely sure what they are, but all I know is that they're harmless. Probably one of the cutest things you have ever seen a 
alive. Uh, however, one peaceful night, where all the citizens are celebrating a new species that came into existence, a strong, scary, and frightening lightning struck out of nowhere. All the creatures disappeared into ashes. Stories say they have gotten taken back by their creator. Some say they got scared of the lightning and died because of it. Or, wait, I think I just made that up. Anyways, come and follow me. I have been protecting this castle for almost... How long? 472 years? So don't ask me how old I am. Uh, the islands have never been as happy and lively as before. Down there is the dungeon where travelers like you can train to become true warriors. I should probably follow this dude. He's talking very fast. Okay, so down there we have the dungeons. If we die in the dungeons, it looks like we will be taken out of the dungeons. The dungeon is closed, and once the tour is done, you will be able to fight these pesky goblins. Is this guy, is he not a guy? I guess he's an orc and there's goblins down there instead. Moving on, we shall head probably to the best room that I love in this castle. Did you know that there are a total of six explorable islands around the castle? No? Well, I guess that makes sense since you're new here. I probably am the smartest goblin on this island and the cutest. Do not say anything about that. I, I mean, he are, he, he's pretty cute, but he doesn't have eyeballs, I don't think. Up the stairs is the trophy room. You will find all the items, emblems, eggs, and other miscellaneous items that can be grabbed around the islands. You will also find all the possible cute dragons that can be be found here in the island of Kubo. Wait, did I just say cute dragons? Oh my bazingle! What does that mean? My voice is 72 years old brain finally remembered some of those sonky creatures. Anyways, my back is already aching. Feel free to explore the trophy room and other parts of the island. I will meet you outside. I got some more areas to show you. See you later. I have never read that many words in a row. It says to follow the green indicators to visit Wawa Obu. Wait, are there more tiny orcs around here? Let's go all the way up these stairs. It's Wawa Obu. Oh my gosh, bro. So many words before anything else. I am not Obu Wawa. My name is Wawa Obu, the twin of Obu Wawa. As you can see, we sort of look alike. I am the protector of the trophy room. My twin has a very bad backache and he cannot walk up the stairs that well. You guys look the exact same. I have a little gift for you. Grab this ancient spear as you will need it on your upcoming adventures. Well, thank you, Wawa Obu. You are much better than Obu Wawa. I am pretty sure that you already know how things work around here. Hurry up, traveler. My twin has been waiting for you outside the castle. Now we gotta go all the way back down the flipping stairs. There's Mini Shrek. What took you so long? Detours? Or did my twin had it and have an intense conversation with you? For you, anyways, as you have probably noticed, you have passed a bunch of merchants. Each merchant has their own unique items that you can buy yourself in exchange for coins. Well, it's all up to you how you will go and create your own adventure. We have a total of eight cute dragons that you can tame and hatch. As you progress, you will notice there are some trickery in uh, hatching them quicker. Explore all the islands, meet other creatures, but be careful, not all of them are friendly. I'll be sticking around, as usual, protecting this wonderful castle. Happy adventuring. Thank you, Obu Wawa. So, ladies and gentlemen, we begin our quest to tame the eight cutest dragons. And I'm pretty sure they'll fight for me, too. Now, there's supposedly other creatures around. I don't really see anything. Is this a... Oh, that... Is this a uh, person? He's doing the moonwalk. Can I kill the peoples? I probably should not kill the peoples. Okay, so around the map, it looks like there's a bunch of different islands that we can explore. At the moment, I only have a spear, so let's hop on one of the ships and let's go travel to one of these islands. This one looks very inviting. It's nice and pink and has cherry blossom trees. Nothing can go wrong over here. Wait, I think I just saw something. Hello? Is there... Wait, wait, is this a dragon? Wait a second, he's so tiny that... There is no way that is a dragon, is it? I'm gonna try to punch it. Oh, oh, d d uh, right. I, I haven't seen the cute dragons before, so I have no idea what they look like. I'm gonna attempt to kill this cute little creature. If it is a dragon, I am so sorry. Wait, I think it actually might be a dragon. Okay, I, uh, we're gonna act like that didn't happen. The only problem is Obu Wawa and Wawa Obu did not explain how to actually tame the dragons. So we're gonna have to be on the lookout for clues that give us a little bit more information of how to tame the eight cute dragons. Ew, dude. Dude, who let you in this swamp? Oh, wait a second. Never mind. That's actually a good thing. So we've collected emeralds. We should be able to spend these at the merchants. Let's go head back to the main island and see if maybe we can find some clues. Wait a second. What are these little dudes? Wait, these... I think these are dragons. So all the little tiny creatures that we see, they have to be the cute dragons. But I have no idea how to tame them. Let's go try talking to the merchants. Wait a second, so we can actually buy dragon eggs. There's a fire egg, a magma egg, chubby egg, candy egg, Chinese egg, forest egg, purple egg, ice egg, viking chip. Oh, wait a second, dragon seeds. We can right click an untamed cute dragon to tame it. This is exactly what we're looking for. And we can breed the dragons together. So we can have two cute dragons and then we can breed them to make a tinier cute dragon that's even cuter. Definitely gonna need that. <gasps> Wait a second, one of the cute dragons is right here. 
I have a feeling this might be either the fire dragon or the chubby dragon. Uh, we're gonna tame it, and then we're gonna see. Uh, what's up, load there? Do you want... Okay, all right. He's, uh, he's, he's kind of disinterested. Can I... Okay, I can't really feed him anything. Maybe I have to buy the eggs myself. Oh, wait a second. Okay, I just found some armor, and we also have some extra food. And a book called Information. This would have been very helpful, Obuawa. It took a little while, but now I know exactly what I have to do to get a dragon. Uh, I'm first going to need to go through this dungeon and collect as many emeralds as possible. Then after, I can go to the merchant and start buying them. And that's what I could use the dragon seeds on. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I think that this dungeon is pretty unique. I don't think there's an actual end. I think it might be infinite. But every time that I kill one of these ugly looking mini Shreks and also, what are, what are these creatures? We have little blue riding hood creatures. Every time I kill them, I will collect emeralds. And the dragons aren't really super expensive. So as long as I can survive a couple waves of the mini Shreks and also the the tiny blue riding hood creatures, we will be able to get tons of cute dragons. Wait a second, I found Mama Lama Jama. It's stuck in the water, I can't get it out. I'm so sorry, I'm gonna have to leave you here. I have bigger fish to fry, bigger llamas to defeat, cute dragons to tame. These things stand in no match at all. They're actually really bad. The snipers are a little bit more of a problem. Am I worried? Not in the slightest. Stop it, stop, hey, 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 hey. What, 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 uh, I, I hear lightning. I don't know exactly where the lightning's coming from. Are you summoning in the lightning? Wait, is it just, is it raining outside? I'm really confused. Well, we do have basically a stack of emeralds, so I feel like that should be enough to tame our first cute dragons, and then we could use them to get more emeralds. Wait a second, look at that, it actually is raining. Okay, let's talk to this dude, and then we should be able to get our first dragon. And I think I'm gonna go for the most expensive one, the magma egg. So now that I have that, let's go try to spawn it inside. Bippity bappity, you are now my young little dragon property. So we have the little tiny baby dragon egg, and it looks like after a little bit, it's gonna shake around, and then eventually it should hatch. Come on, little dude, yes! It worked! Oh my gosh, dude, wait, it looks, it looks so cute! Okay, okay, well, let's try out our dragon seeds. Wait. Wait, it gets bigger? It was just a little baby. Oh, oh, yes, we can ride it. Oh, wait a second. That is sweet. Let's see. Wait, it can fly too. How is it doing this? I am so heavy. I am literally twice the size of this tiny little cute dragon. It is somehow able to hold my entire body. I also haven't talked to this trader yet. So let's see. It looks like we can actually upgrade our weapons. Eventually, we can get celestial armor. But for the time being, I think I want to go ahead and test my brand new cute magma dragon in the dungeons. Here we go, little guy. This is your first test. I think I should be able to feed him more dragon seeds in order to heal it. Oh, okay. Oh, he's fighting for me. Let's go. And wait, we have new mobs. It looks like we have some sort of wolf creature. My magma dragon is going in, dude. He's going left and right. He definitely does not seem to be one of the more powerful dragons that I've ever tamed but he is definitely one of the cutest. Oh my gosh, do we have giant wolf creatures? Now there's no real way for me to check the health of my dragon other than to hop on its back. Let's see, it still has full health, no way. Okay, little dude, I'm gonna need you to, okay, uh, actually, never mind. I think I actually might have this covered. Oh, wait a second. Oh my gosh, dude, these dudes are crazy. I'm taking a lot of damage. I might need to buy some golden apples. But for the time being, we should be able to bip, bop, boop. We have to kill these archers. They, they're just relentless. Would you guys please stop? Who is paying you? I will pay you more. All right, well, that, that's that's not gonna... I'm stuck right now. I just... I don't know exactly what's gonna happen to me, but I need to make sure I don't die or else I think I might lose my dragon. Also, I completely forgot to mention, if you guys do want to see a part two, be sure to leave a like so I can get the rest of the dragons. And also, I will pick the top comment to name our magma dragon. It needs to be a very cute name. So far, I think we've taken out pretty much the entire wave. There's a couple more of these little annoying dudes down here, but they're not a problem for Beck Bro Dragon Chief. And just from that one wave alone, we've gotten over two stacks of emeralds. So I think what I'm gonna do is end the dungeon. And wait, after, okay, I'll, I'll kill this wave first. I'll end the dungeon and then I will go ahead and tame as many dragons as possible. Then the mini Shreks and the little blue riding hoods and the wolf creatures will stand no chance against the Beck Bro Dragon Army. We'll be too cute to take down. It is like a firing squad out here. I need to kind of like use them as their own body shields. Magma Dragon doesn't really do that much damage, even though it costs the most money. Maybe because it looks the coolest or maybe it's just the cutest dragon. 
Okay, we completed that wave. Let's go ahead and end the dungeon before the next one starts. Where's my cute little baby dragon? There he is. What's up, little guy? Okay, he barely took any damage. Let's see if I can use the dragon seeds to heal him. Uh, what about some meat? Do you like... Okay. I don't really know how to, how to feed this guy. If you guys know, please leave a comment down below. But since we have two stacks of emeralds, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and we're gonna buy a fire dragon egg and also a candy dragon egg. And we might as well get two of each so that in a future episode, we can breed them together. Okay, let's line them up. We have the two fire dragons, the two candy dragons, and then the one magma dragon. Uh, this little tiny cute candy dragon literally has a lollipop on the top of it. I have never seen a dragon like that. Okay, look at that. Okay, we have the two cute little baby fire dragons. I might need to buy some more dragon seeds. But here is the candy dragon. This thing got big. Okay, okay. Uh, They're actually going to start running away and I'm running out of dragon seeds. They grow up way too fast. I'm going to have to go over here and get more dragon seeds. Hey, hey, do, 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 do. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, dragon seeds, dragon, dragon, dragon seeds. Ooh, wait. Hatchy, hatchy. Let's go insta hatch. Wait, you can actually insta hatch the dragons? Oh, there's no time for that right now. I think I just bought a stack of dragon seeds, so we definitely shouldn't run out. Okay, you are now mine, a little baby fire dragon. Welcome to the Beck Bro Army of Cuteness. The only rule of the army is to become cute. Other than that, you're pretty much free to do whatever you want. And you also need to defend the cutest of them all. Beck Bro Ugly Man. Yeah, I wish I was as cute as these dragons, but I don't think it's gonna happen ever. Yes, my army of cuteness is almost complete. Let's take them down into the dungeons and see how they do. All of the orcs have spawned in. I'm just gonna punch them. I'm gonna try to not use my sword and let's see if the dragons will actually fight for me. Bro, these guys, they don't even know why they're hurting me. Are my dragons attacking? It's very difficult to see. It looks like, yeah, okay, they are fighting back a little bit. They're quite stubborn and it looks like they'll only attack if they get hit. So I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna, guys, yeah, no, no, okay, here's, here's the game plan, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Cute Dragon Army. You guys need to go in, and you need to be super cute, so they'll have no idea what's going on, just like you're doing right now, and then you're gonna kill them all. You got it? All right, cool. Cute Army, over and out. It's really difficult to tell if my cute army is actually attacking. Yes, they are! Okay, that's great, because for a little bit, I thought that they were too cute to actually fight. Let's see, can they attack this? No, okay, never mind, I accidentally killed them. That's fine, that's fine. I need to go and punch them so that they don't die and that my dragons can get a little bit of training. Oh, yes, it worked! We've done it! <laughs> A couple weeks ago, Bessie told me about this place and gave me a mysterious treasure map and told me to travel out. And I actually was able to find it. We have a dog. Look at this thing. So Dog Island is pretty special. On the island, there are over 10 different types of dogs that I'll be able to tame. Captain Blocktop. It looks like he has a question for me. Arg, say you landlubber. Ye ever seen a sea dog? Bring one to me and I'll reward ye handsomely. A sea dog. Dog, you say? Well, I guess that's one of the type of dogs that I can tame. What's in his chest? Ooh, a water bucket and a fishing rod. Wait a second. Are there dogs in the ocean? Well, one of the first things that I want to do in today's episode is figure out how to tame my very own custom puppy. <laughs> Those little tiny pugs. You pet the dog. They seem to enjoy it a lot. Most dogs enjoy being pet. Make sure if you do see somebody else's dog out in the middle of nowhere, uh, that you ask them if you can pet their dog first. I did not do that because I am dumb. I walk my dog every day. They love it. You should walk your dog every day. I did. I walked my actual dog in real life, Petey, earlier this morning. What kind of dogs are these? Oh, these are chihuahuas. I'm starting to get really jealous looking at everybody else's dogs around Dog Island. So I need to figure out how to get one of my own. Hello there, little puppy. Uh, excuse me, cashier. Hi there, need anything? Why not check out our latest deal? We're currently selling a lead and a name tag together for just one emerald. I would like to, um, not buy anything quite yet. I could buy dog armor, which is cool. I need to figure out a way to get bones or dog treats so that I can tame some of the wild dogs around. Where we can trim our dogs? What? There's poodles? Love me, poodle. Love me. I'm hoping that if I pet it enough that it'll eventually just follow me around. It's not working. I found dog treats. I don't know whose house this is, but I'm gonna take the dog treats. Hopefully nobody's looking around. We're gonna just act very, very, very non-suspicious, people. Let's go track down a puppy and tame it. Hello, puppy. Oh, you, this is your puppy, I see. I see a puppy down there! Oh my gosh, I broke my leg. It'll be worth it. Hopefully this is not this person's puppy. It's a poodle! <gasps> Wait, yes! It loves me! Oh, guys, I forgot to mention.
mention that every single dog in this series is going to be named after one of you guys. So if you guys want me to name it after whatever your name is, or if you want me to name it a random name, just be sure to leave suggestions down below and I'll pick out one of the top comments. We have to be really careful. We've made it to a turtle beach. Poodle? Poodle? P come here. Come here, little puppy poodle. Do not go near the turtle leg. They need to be untouched while they go into the ocean. Wait, I can eat the dog treats? I do. Why would I eat the dog? I'm not going to eat the dog treats. Dog treats are not meant for people. I've actually tried to eat dog treats in real life before, and they do not really taste that good. They kind of just taste like rocks. Puppy! I see a puppy, guys! Go, 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 go. Love me. At first try. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Okay, I have no idea what type of dog this is. It looks like some form of shepherd. I don't really know. Leave a comment down below with a name suggestion and also what type of dog you think this is. Hello. Oh, more puppies? Oh, uh, these puppies are already tamed. I want to steal everybody's puppies. They're all so cute. Have you met the little old lady who lives in the woods? No, I have not met the little old lady who lives in the woods. She sounds spooky. Maybe she's selling puppies. This is my favorite island in the entire world. There is just a puppy beach. Every single dog. Wait, every single dog has its own beach towel. Are the dogs running this entire island are the dogs in charge here or are all the are the people in charge it kind of looks like the dogs are in charge dog swing there's a dog swing okay now i also know that i can teach my puppies different tricks i found an adoption center oh. why hello hannah <clears throat> Welcome to Dog Island. Are you looking to adopt one of these dogs? They're so sweet and fluffy and, um, where was I? Oh yeah, adoption costs just one emerald. Whenever you're ready, just choose one and your emerald on them to show them your love. What? I could just tame one with an emerald? Well, I already have two puppers, so I guess we'll get another one. I want a pug. I want a pug. It worked. <laughs> now that you've adopted a dog, I can give you a gold star. If you manage to complete all six star achievements, you will get an extra special reward. Claim my star. Give me my star. Star, lady we got a star thank you hannah i love you i found more dog treats i traveled all the way to the top of the lighthouse to get a good idea of what the rest of dog island looks like there's a couple different sections and it looks like there's an icy mountain over there there's also different biomes around and i think each biome might have different puppies there was also a chest up here with some ender pearls what's that house over there it just has a giant bone on it let's go check it out it's a daycare what's up alan your dog seems to like you if you want i can teach them some tricks just bring me one emerald after i've taught your dog Dog, you can feed them a dog treat to make them perform a trick. Teach tricks. Teach some tricks. I'll, I'll do it. Um, did I do it? Do I have an emerald? No, I spent my emerald. Okay, and I did read around the map. There's different ways to get emeralds. So I need to go around the map and find people that have quests. And then if I do the quest, they'll give me the emerald. And then once we get that, we can come back and then Alan can teach all of my brand new puppies some tricks. This place looks a little bit spooky. All right, we made it to the farm. Farmer? Hello, what's up, Farmer Harry? Welcome to my farm. Hey, you look brave. Could you go take a look in the barn? for me. Got some strange noises coming from there. I'd go myself, but this farm ain't gonna farm itself. What the heck, dude? Puppies attack! Oh, a little new puppy. Hello, love me. It loves me. <laughs> is so tiny. Don't you worry, Farmer Henry. We'll get to the bottom of this. I don't have any weapons at all, but my puppies are vicious. <laughs> Look at them go. <laughs> They're cute, but deadly. So I think the barn is right back here, unless he's just talking about his big house. I don't see any. Oh, wait, what's down here? Oh, oh, this doesn't look good. Wait, we found, oh, dog armor. Okay, there's also a monster spawner. So I think if I destroy that, maybe it'll get rid of all of the creatures in here that are messing up Farmer Henry. But in order to do that, I'm gonna need to make a pickaxe first. Also, we can give some gold dog armor to, I guess, our German Shepherd. You'll be the leader of the pack. <laughs> oh, look at it. He looks like a Roman knight. I'm just gonna have to steal a couple pieces of wood. A wooden pickaxe should do the trick, and while we're here, we also might as well turn our diamonds into a diamond sword. And we might as well eat some cake, too. <laughs> Thanks, Farmer Phil. <laughs> knock, knock. Hello, we are back, and we are better than ever, baby. Mine, 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 mine. Yes, it's dead. Good work, puppies. Oh my goodness. Where are they coming from <laughs> i think we took care of that why get out of here yo farmer henry you might want to light up your forest over there pal there's a lot of mobs spawning i think i finished it though thank you for taking care of the spiders do i want to go see for myself no i'm fine well that's good you take this reward we got an emerald yes 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 we did it okay now we can go back to the uh daycare and then they could teach one of our puppies how to do a trick what's up alan all right teach tricks do it you complete it we got another star okay now if i give one of my my puppies uh treat do you do trick do you do trick <gasps> the pug just did a backflip you do backflip too okay no just taught my pug how to do a back <laughs> wait no it's doing more tricks it just spun in a circle okay it spins in circles it can sit it could give me a paw it looks so cute <laughs> 
Thanks, Alan. Before I go back and claim my gold star, I want to see if there's different types of puppies over near the icy mountain. There's a lumberjack who lives in the spruce forest. He's a little bit odd, but he's a nice guy. Let's see if we can find him. I'm sure he'll have a quest for me, and I need to do quests in order to get emeralds. This isn't quite the lumberjack, but it's Farmer Beatrice. Would you be a deer and bring me a bee? Uh, yeah, I have a lead, so I guess I can do that. Everybody keep your eyes peeled for a bee. We need to be a good citizen and find the bee and bring it back to Farmer Beatrice. <laughs> oh, that is bad. Please do not unsubscribe. If I were a bee, where would I? Oh my gosh, there's one right there. Come with me, bee. Yeah. Farmer Beatrice, I found the bee. Finish quest. Yes. Thank you, dear. Please have this reward. Another emerald. Let's go. Uh, all right. How do I? I'm going to just uh, put the bee down somewhere. I'm just going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to toss it to you. There, there you go. There's your. Okay, the bee is still attached to me. Farmer Beatrice, I don't know what you want me to do with this bee, lady. I'm going to put it right there. Bye, bee. I hope you have a fun life out here. We are being such a good citizen today. Hmm. Oh, sorry. I was just sending a text. Why are you? You don't even have a cell phone. Why are people so dumb? You might be the lumberjack. Harold. Uh, oh, hello there, newbie. Uh, hey, can I tell you a secret? You see, I'm looking for a Cerberus, but no one else thinks they exist. Please bring me a Cerberus. What I've heard is they live in the fiery dimension. Uh, uh what? Wait, if he's talking about the nether, I could go to the nether. That's not that difficult. And wait, okay, if, if he wants a Cerberus, I want a Cerberus too. I don't know if you guys know what a Cerberus is, but if you don't, be sure to stick it till the end of the video to figure it out because I am definitely getting one today. If Farmer Harold said that he's too scared to go, then he probably... Oh, wait, he has a pretty good uh, efficiency 5x that I'm gonna go ahead and yoink. But if he says that he's too scared to go, then he's probably been there before. That means he has to have a portal somewhere around. Wait, there's one. Puppers, come here, puppers. Everybody listen up. And you guys to all stay here. A little bit dangerous there, especially if there's going to be a Cerberus. Where's our pug? What's up, pug? You stay there too. Let's find it in three, two, one. Uh, so far, I've not spotted a Cerberus. Just a bunch of old, ugly piglins. Oh, wait, there's one right there. And there's a gas. Oh my gosh, one more hit and I'm dead. Okay, let's try to lure it back through the portal. <gasps> Wait, it went through. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. I don't want to burn to death. I do not want to burn to death. Go through the portal. Oh, the Cerberus is right there. Oh boy, Farmer Harold, Farmer Harold, I, I I, found it. I found it, my dude. You can take it now. You can take it off my hands. Is it still coming? Hello? Wait a second, can I tame this thing? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yes! If I can get one Cerberus, then I could definitely get another. Okay, Lumberjack Harold, you can take this dude. And they do exist. I think this dog would be better off with a more experienced owner. Wait a second, I get to keep it too? And I got the emerald. This is so cool. Puppy army, I need you guys to meet the newest member of oh, Cerberus, our three-headed dog. <laughs> I was reading your guys' comments from the last episode, and a bunch of you guys left some amazing name suggestions for our one, two, three, four, five different puppies that we tamed in the last episode. We even got this, the Cerberus, the three-headed dog from the nether. All thanks to my main man, Lumberjack Harold, who sent me there to get it, and then he let me keep it. And he also paid me for it. What a beautiful bearded man. The Cerberus will be known as Hades, the three-headed dog. You guys suggested that I name the poodle Poddle? <laughs> I love it. You shall be Michael. Hiya, the pug. And last but not least, Antonio, the German Shepherd. <laughs> Bottle. Way over there in the distance, I see an icy mountain. I wanted to check that out in the last episode, but then Harold the Farmer, or the Lumberjack Man, decided that he needed my help, so I, did, I wanted to help him out. Boop, 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 hello. I saw something shining at the top of the mountain. I wonder what it could be. I'm gonna go find out. A couple of you guys mentioned, too, and I don't know how I didn't notice this, but the entire island looks like a paw print of a dog. That's probably why it's called Dog Island. Oh, there's zombies. Don't worry, Cerberus will take them down. Uh, that's a good little Hades puppy. Kill. Annihilate. <laughs> Wait, they're so overpowered. That's a good three-headed dog from the nether. It's starting to get a little bit chilly up here. I might be able to find different types of dogs in the different biomes. A lot of you guys were saying that I might be able to find a husky anywhere where it's cold because that's where they naturally go to because they have tons of fur. Is there anything shiny up here? We've made it to the top of the world. And I see the shiny thing. Pup Squad, take care of the zombie while I open up this magic chest. We found a secret chest. It had extra leads and uh, I think that was it. We just got some leads. I found another one in between episodes too and it gave me five golden dog treats. I think that that might automatically tame any puppy that I give it to. It doesn't look like there's any type of different dog breed that I haven't found up here yet, uh, but I'll keep looking around to see if maybe I can find a husky 
Husky. Husky, Bulbusky, Banana, Fana, Fofusky. <gasps> is that a Husky? My name is Jack and I'm a snack, so I would like you to join my pup squad. Look, 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 look. I have dog treats. Wait, we can test out the golden dog tree. Let's do it in three, two, one. No, okay, that, uh, it does not work on wild dogs, so let's just feed you normal dog treats, little pupster. Yes, we have a Husky. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys know the deal. Leave some name suggestions down below in the comments. I'll either name it after you or you can leave your own name suggestions. Wait a second, so if the golden dog tree can't be used to tame dogs, can I use it in order to upgrade? <gasps> Whoa, wait a second. I don't know exactly what that just did. Did it get bigger? Oh, uh, where's Antonio? Antonio, eat this dog tree. I don't know if it's upgrading them. Maybe it's making them have more health. Comment down below what you think the golden dog tree does. Zombie! Uh, uh, well, uh, never mind. False alarm, guys. I took care of the, 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 the bad zombie. What is this? <gasps> wait, is that a baby husky? I want another husky. <gasps> Yo, we just got a little tiny puppy husky. The pup squad is slowly and steadily growing in numbers. I wonder if the puppies will cliff jump down with me. Well, let's find out. Come on, puppies. Throw them all. Guys, guys, uh, down here, guys. Wait, there's a lady, and it looks like she might be trapped on that cliff. Hades, I don't know if it's a good idea for you to be in the water, but it seems like you're, you're, you're doing fine. Okay, that works. I thought because Hades was made completely out of magma and lava that, uh, yeah, he wouldn't do too well in the water, but he's just a beast. Whoa, it's a different kind of dog. I've never seen it before. Hello, have you met the lad who works at the convenience store? He has a funny accent. I don't know if I have. Also, what's in this cave? Wait, uh, okay, there's amethyst in this cave. I wonder if there's secret caves around Dog Island. It's a little bit difficult to see down here. I can kind of only see Hades because it's made out of flames and it's just glowing in the dark. I don't like it down here. I don't like the dark. I'm scared of the dark. We're getting out of the dark. You should take things easy. Stop every now and then to admire the little things in life. Great advice. I'm gonna pet your dog too. I wanna steal your dog. I won't do it though. I was just thinking about it. It's just so gosh darn cute. Ah, okay, I gotta get away from the dog before I accidentally steal it. Don't steal dogs, kids. It's illegal. So right now we have three emeralds and I believe that I can adopt more dogs using just one emerald. Hello, back bro cookie man's back. What's up, Alan? Wait, I forgot. Alan just teaches the dogs tricks. I need to go to the adoption center in order to get another puppy. Uh, all right, let's actually Let's teach one of our dogs the tricks. You know a trick now? Oh, our poddle. It knows tricks. Oh, it can spin. Nice. Good work, poddle. Oh, it can sit. It can paw. Our poddle's an absolute genius. I'm pretty sure that poodles are one of the most intelligent species of dog. I think the most intelligent might be a German Shepherd. That's right, Antonio. Who's a cute little smart pupper? You are. It's the puppy adoption center. We got another star. I have no idea why I just got that star. What's up, Hannah? Uh, Hannah said, besides adopting a dog, there's other achievements. Oh, we can give poddle a trim. Uh, okay. Okay, we haven't found all the dogs and we haven't completed all of the quests yet. We still need to help the mayor find his lost dog and get the captain a sea dog, which I haven't found yet. I don't even know if sea dogs are real, but we'll have to look around to see if we can find one. Hello, little puppy. Do you want to join the pup squad? This dog already has found the home. Oh, all right, fine. What about you, you cute little big eared puppy? Yes, we got another. I want you too. Yes, two more puppies for the pup squad. I will become chief of all puppies on the island. Look at these plebs. They only have one dog. I have an army of dogs. I see another puppy. Join the squad. Our numbers are growing. By the way, guys, don't forget to go ahead, smash the like, and while you're down there, leave name suggestions for every single brand new puppy that I've got in today's episode. There's a lot. Poddle, I think today's a nice day to become pampered Poddle. Come on, Poddle. Excuse me, Miss Hairdresser. I would like to trim our Poddle. One emerald, you say? I don't have one. Well, okay, I think I accidentally spent all my emeralds. Don't worry, Poddle. I promise you, you would get a nice little haircut and be the best looking pottle the world has ever seen. So I know that the captain over there will give me at least one emerald if I go around and find a sea dog, but also the mayor lost his dog. So maybe if I can find it, he'll give me a bunch of emeralds. This person has three dogs. I feel threatened by the amount of dogs that he has. I have a lot more dogs, but still he's trying to take over as the king of all dogs. Don't wave at me. You will never defeat me. Don't try to intimidate me. I will get more dogs. I need more dogs. I need more dogs. I need more dogs. He's gonna, he's gonna catch up to me. The mayor's house is right across from the cafe. That looks like the cafe to me. So that means that this is probably the mayor's house. Hi, Marie. Is the mayor in today? Uh, do you have an appointment? The mayor's upstairs waiting. Go ahead. Oh, I did not have an appointment, but I will gladly go take my appointment. Mayor? Hello? How do I? Uh, 
Marie, you didn't really tell me where to go. Marie, uh, Mayor, uh, you're on the, are you on the uh, toilet? Mayor? Nope. Is this, okay, cool. There's a staircase right here. Oh, uh, why, hello, Mr. Mayor. It is I, Beck Bro Cookie Man. Uh, I have already collected several of your fine puppies on Dog Island. Uh, oh, help is here. You see, friend, uh, I'm looking for my German Shepherd. Uh, he's missing, and I'm ever so worried. Uh, can you help me find him? Uh, he's rather fond of fantastic views and heights. Fantastic views and heights, you say. Uh, Mayor William, I think I know exactly where your puppy might be. Okay, guys, so I'm thinking that the puppy could potentially be on top of a mountain somewhere. You get some pretty good views from the top of a mountain. Or the air balloon. There's one air balloon that's just been floating in the sky this entire time that I'm here. And I've never been up to the top of it. I don't know if I have enough blocks to get to the top. That hot air balloon sure is high up. I feel like looking at it, just floating. It's nice. If you want to go up there, you should press the button in this hot air balloon. Oh, it, it worked! And the mayor's dog is up here! Uh, okay, puppy, I'm gonna need to bring you back home. Okay, let's grab the lead. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take the hot air balloon back down. That's a good puppy, come on! How did the mayor let his puppy go all the way up in a hot air balloon by itself? The mayor is not a good dog owner, ladies and gentlemen. Don't worry, Beck Bro Dog Master is here to help. I am a whisperer of all dogs. They all love me. Hey, Marie, guess who I found? The mayor's dog. Come on, little puppy, let's go up the stairs back to your dad. Hey, hey, come on. Uh, oh, oh, well, um, uh, m m uh m Marie, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need the, the mayor's dog. I'm gonna have to bring it back up to him, okay? I think uh, Marie was just petting him a little bit. He probably was very, very, very heavily missed. Come on, little puppy. That's a good little doggy. Mr. Mayor? I've done it. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm so happy you found him. Here, take this reward. 32 emeralds? Bro, you're crazy. Thank you so much. I will be on my way. Uh, if you lose your dog again, just let me know. Marie, I will come back uh, if he loses his dog again, and I will find it for another 32 emeralds. That's the best deal ever. Now I officially have enough money to go to the hairdresser. Poddle, you are about to become the cutest poodle ever. Where's Poddle? 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 <gasps> Poddle, you look beautiful. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. Wait, I can, I can, I can change her entire style. So she has fur, and then somehow I'm able to shear it off. And then I can just put it back on again. Hello! I did it! Another gold star for me! I like getting praise for my achievements. Guys, we to the pet store. Hello, lady. I would like to buy a cat. Okay, she told me that I have to go inside of the store and then I could use my cat token. Bessie sent me all the way out here to tame and adopt as many pets as I possibly can find. There's a chonker cat. Okay, so it looks like I can put my cat token inside of here in order to get the giant cat. This cat is obese. Yo, cat, you gotta kind of maybe not eat so much food. Maybe just uh, lay low on the cat cookies for now. Take one pillow for the price of two. This is snow. This is not even a pillow. Wait a second. How do I even tame the cats? Do I need to use fish? <gasps> yeah, okay, so I need to use raw salmon in order to tame my cats. I will name you Pongo, the fat cat. Look, there's also toys for our cats. We have toy mouse, and we also have a yarn ball. Here you go, take the yarn ball. Do you play with it? <gasps> Wait, it actually loves it. Look at it. Wait, this is the cutest thing ever. It's just shoving his face in it, and it's trying to dig the yarn ball. <gasps> Wait, I can hit it around. Watch out, Pongo. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is the cutest thing ever. There's also toy mice. How do I pick this thing up? Pongo, okay, okay. If I hit enough times, looks like I can actually kill the yarn ball. Pongo is currently chasing a mouse inside of a tiger exhibit. Pongo, get out of there. Hello there, Mr. Scientist Adoption Man. Uh, the sign behind this man, it looks like him anyway, says that I could uh, trade him one gold nugget for a cat token. Let's see if it works. Did it work? Did it, uh, excuse me, sir. Wait, did he just poop it out? Is he? Wait, that is that coming out of his butt? That's kind of weird. I want all of your butt tokens, sir. <laughs> all right. Well, yeah, we're going to act like that just didn't happen. The next cat we were able to get is a baby. Bangle cat. I'm gonna call you Benji. Benji the Bangle cat. Wait, this thing is so cool. Look at its stripes. And it has big blue cute eyes. As you can see, this is what a normal cat looks like. And Pongo is what a giant fat cat looks like. Don't worry, Pongo. There's just more of you to love. I can't put my finger on it, but there is something drastically wrong with this cat. At first, I thought it was two cats kind of just like squished together. But I am starting to believe that this is a two-headed cat. It says alien. I need an alien cat. <laughs> What kind of cat did I just adopt? I wonder if there are any cats like this in real life. Also, where did Benji go? Benji, I have a mouse for you, Benji. I think I accidentally forgot to tame Benji. <laughs> I guess we could just adopt another one. Benji version two, love me. Wait, I found the first version of Benji. All oh, right, did I? Well, I am so confused right now. I thought that this was Benji, but no, this is not Benji. This is our alien cat. This is Benji V2. Benji version one currently just booked it. That cat decided that it was free and it ran. It 
literally ran as fast as it possibly could into the wilderness. It's probably stuck in a tree somewhere. We still have to name the two-headed cat, and I honestly think the best name is Kit Cat. On the left will be Kit, on the right will be Cat. Whoa, wait, this cat has two different colors. Uh, it's called an Aphrodite giant cat. I think a lot of the cats that we're seeing today are actually based on real life cats, except for Kit Kat. I don't know if this is actually real. Wait, this is not a giant cat. Look at it, it's tiny. I think I got a baby version. You shall be named Cheddar Cheese. Welcome to the cat army, Cheddar Cheese. What if I put down one yarn ball? <laughs> Every single cat runs up to it. It's like me when you place down cookies. I run up and I try to eat them as fast as possible. The only problem problem is there's no good way to get rid of the yarn ball. I kind of just have to smack it around until it dies. I'm so sorry. While I'm adopting more cats, let's keep them occupied by placing down some mice. There you go, kitties. That should, uh, yeah, keep them entertained for a couple of hours. This cat has a pretty cool tail. It almost looks like a panther. Let's get it. It's called the American Curl Cat. Ooh, wait, this thing is fancy. I thought the entire thing was black, but it looks like it has white fur on its belly and its uh, paws. Let's name you Jiggles. Does Jiggles love me? Jiggles does love me. Follow me, Jiggles. Also, I think the rest of my cat maybe ran away to chase after the toy mice. That's my fault, though. I probably should not have put down so many. Abyssinian cat. This thing looks exotic. It has red eyes and a skinny tail. I want it. I need it. Eat the fishies. Yes, we tamed another one. At this rate, I want a cat in real life. I've never actually had a cat in real life. If you guys have, leave a comment down below and also leave the name of the cat. Outside, there's different habitats, too. There's a lion habitat, which is just a big cat. And uh, wait, is that where the first version of Benji went. Benji, you are not a lion. I am a little bit worried for Benji. Also, what are all my cats doing down there? I wonder if I can actually tame these. We're gonna go and try to do it. Hopefully, I don't get attacked. I highly recommend, actually, I demand that nobody tries this at home. Even though this is a game, I do not want anybody to try to go inside of a cheetah habitat and tame it using fish. Professionals only. Okay, well, I can't even tame them, but they are really cute. They're like big versions of cats, except they're like 10,000 times times faster. What the flip? Pongo is down there. Oh, it's probably because uh, I'm guessing a mouse is down there too. What exhibit are they in? The tiger habitat. Luckily, the tigers are currently taking a nap. No, never mind. They're not taking a nap. They're just kind of chilling in the corner over there. I'm going to give them a yarn ball to play with. My cats are really cute, but they're also not the smartest cats in the entire universe. They are trying to chase a tiny toy mouse and they decided to go inside of a tiger habitat where they could get eaten. What the flip is wrong with my cats? Wait, are these all babies? No, no, no. Okay, so the Aphrodite giant cat isn't just a tiny cat. It looks like I got a bunch of tiny ones, but we can also get big ones too. I want more chonker cats. Wait, they come in different colors too. Look, there's a big fat black cat. Wait, are they all just black cats now? Oh, never mind. I got a white one. I need them all to love me. <laughs> Even the baby fat cat is a little tiny chunk. Luckily, they don't move super fast because they are giant. But if I were to get a cat, I would want it to be a massive cat, almost like a tiger so that I could just give it bear hugs. Don't you run away from me, little baby cat. Now we just have an army of pongos. I wonder if I can get my cat army to fight for me. Come on, kitties. <laughs> nah, I completely forgot that cats are pretty selfish and they do not care about anything but themselves. So even if you're inside of your house and the entire building is on fire, they're going to make sure they get out before you do. And that is exactly why they are not helping me fight this thing. Even though if I die, nobody will feed my cats. There you go. Get, take this yarn ball and get the heck out of my face, kitties. It's actually kind of working. Look, they're they're putting together a little tiny cat shield. All of the cats will be free. The Aphrodite giants. The Abyssinian cats. More giants. This dude does not look very happy. I don't care. We need Bengal cats. Two-headed Kit Kats. <laughs> Wait, they come in different colors. Look, this one's orange. And also Chunker. Kit Kat, 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 Kit Kat. <laughs> Assemble my cat army around the yarn balls. <laughs> this is the only way to get a cat to listen to you.